All right, so I've got a very serious problem right now. I've got way too many Chrome tabs open and it's slowing down my computer and it's pissing me off. So I'm gonna create a Chrome extension to automatically retrieve each URL and title for each tab and save that in a file or something like that. But I've never created a Chrome extension before and I don't have that much time because I really need to hit the gym. So I need to do this in under 10 minutes. So that is the challenge. Now I've loaded up a Chrome extension developer tutorial and it's pretty long and honestly, I don't really have time for this. So I'm just gonna search for a Chrome extension um, sample code. So let's search for that right now. Make the current page red. Okay, we'll go with that. Okay, it's downloaded this extension. Totally the first time I've downloaded it. I totally didn't just record this and the microphone working correctly. Okay, so I'm just gonna extract this. Tab saver or something. Now in my terminal. Uh, which I'm using Ubuntu Windows Systems, uh, Windows Subsystem for Linux, Fish Shell. Highly recommend the Fish Shell. It's so much faster than, than any of the other options. So I'm going to load it up in VS Code. All right, so I've got JavaScript file manifest. Um, I'm just going to test to see if this works. So I'm going to add this extension. I have to load it like this. Fine. Yeah, all right, boom. Tab saver, let's go. It's called page writer. So let's test to see if this actually works. And it does work, sweet. And if I update it, then uh, say I change it to blue, for example, it should still work without me having to reload it. Hopefully, uh, let's find out. So it's not doing it. So I guess I gotta press the re refresh button for it to work, right? Cause not to oh, yeah, sweet, it works. Okay, cool. Now. I need a way to get all of the tabs. Um, so Chrome extension, get tab, get, sure. Yeah, we're gonna search on Google and probably find something on Stack Overflow. Uh, this is it, this is what software engineers do. Google for stuff and find stuff on Stack Overflow. But no, we're, we're on a serious time constraint, so I don't really have time. So uh, this will have to do, so let's see. So we're just gonna this gonna comment this out for now. Console.log this. Alright, let's try this out. Um, reload. So load up the developer console, click. Alright, it's now working. Custom it's, what what is this? Go here. Oh, it is working here. Okay, sweet. So we've got all the tabs. Where's the tab information though? I don't see any of the tab information. Why is it not showing up? Um, get tab URLs. Okay, you have to declare the tabs permission in the manifest as shown below like this. All right, so in this manifest file, we've got to add tabs. Then hopefully it should work. Um, so if I just refresh it, and I refresh this and then I do this is it gonna work uh, yeah there it is now you can see the URL and the title so what we're gonna do is we're going to iterate through each one so tabs map and then we're just gonna return an object that only contains the title so tab title and then the URL, so, oh, sorry, URL, uh, tab.url, boom. And then I guess we'll just console log it for now, just make sure this works. Cool. Refresh, um, let's try it out. Boom, yeah, works, all right. Now we went away to uh, save this information to a file. So um, JavaScript save, yeah, just, yeah, this is uh, expert software engineering right here. Um, yeah, this will do. So, okay, so first of all, we need a way to execute this on the client side. You'll notice that although it's outputting to this developer console, as a user, we don't have access to that. It's not outputting to the, the user's console. So what we're going to do is to run this on the user, we're going to use this execute script code. 
let's first just try to console log this in the user's console. So I'm going to replace these with the back ticks so that I can have multi-line um, comments or whatever. So let's see, console log, and then I'm just going to json.stringify this, this thing right here. So let's see if this works. Um, refresh, boom, I'll load up this. Okay, it's printing here, but it's not printing there. That is not what I want. Oh, error. Oh, it's not defined. Oh my God, okay. So why is it not defined? Oh, well, that's because I put it outside. All right, my bad. That's embarrassing. Let's try this again. Um, okay, hopefully no errors this time. Refresh. Do I still have that error? What? No, come on. Okay, where's my lint? Where's my linter? Um, I mean, I don't see the error now. Why is this doing that? What the hell? All right, let's just remove it and load it again. Um, okay, now the error is gone, and that's kind of buggy, but whatever. Let's try this again. All right. Boom. Is it gonna do it? Yeah, all right. We've got it in the user in the user's console, but we can't store it as a global variable, which is really, really weird. And I wanted to save it. Um, if I do like uh, tabs info, and then I take out the console log, it actually doesn't save as a global variable here, which is really weird. So I'm just gonna save it straight to a file. So we're gonna copy and paste from Stack Overflow, because that's what professionals do. Nah, but seriously, like, just under a time constraint here. So, um, if you're doing this professionally, it's a little different. But we just want to get something done. So, we're going to save that function. This is some ugly code, but whatever. And uh, what are we doing here? Save text. Okay, here we're going to json.stringify. Um, let's see. Boom json let stringify tabs info um, we call it tabs.json let's try this out no errors refresh all right will it work final shutdown no so okay there's a problem there how do we fix that Hmm, okay, tabs info. What can we do? Save text. I think I've got to actually stringify this one more time and then that should fix it. And oh, by the way, we can um, indent it. We can prettify it by adding this too. That'll indent by two spaces. So uh, let's see if this works. All right. Yeah, we did it. All right. We've got all the tabs. And let's see if it works across windows. Because I've got another window here. I've got this URL here. Um, yep, works across windows. Sweet. We've got everything. Um, could make it automatically close all the tabs, but um, eh, it doesn't really matter. I can just do that manually. But yeah, we did it in under 10 minutes, I think. I don't know, I can't really see the time here. But anyways, the point of this video isn't to demonstrate like world-class engineering of the highest quality standard. The point here is that software engineering is building stuff under a set of constraints. And my constraint with this was time. I wanted to do this as quickly as possible because I'm busy, got a day job, got to go to the gym. And it's so easy to put things off and be in this analysis paralysis mode where you're just 
you want everything to be perfect and so you just don't do anything because if it's not going to be perfect why do it but then you don't build anything and at the end of the day the whole purpose of engineering is to build stuff and if you're not building stuff then you're not doing anything you're wasting your time your users do not care about your code as long as everything works just build stuff stop sitting there in your chair with your thumb up your like build stuff use your time efficiently because Time is the only thing you can, we can never get back until we invent time travel or we develop the technology to live forever, which I hope we develop that by the time uh, I get old so I can live forever, maybe as a cyborg. I'm getting a little sidetracked here. So, all right, that's it for this video. Um, subscribe if you want more tech videos because I'm probably going to make more tech videos and I will, um, but I'll also make other non-tech related videos too. But I gotta be careful what I say because uh, in this world. Uh, well, anyways, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you next week. Uh, peace. Did you cut us? Off to the gym now. All right.